Do it! Welcome to The No, I'm Brian. I'm Ben. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is out, and with it, Blackout. Very exciting, the new Battle Royale mode. Already getting some rave reviews. People are into it. Cool. But before you dive in, here are a few tips we've compiled to help you out. And there's already a pretty popular exploit going around, so we're going to get around to talking about it, but let's jump into it. Yeah. Okay, so number one, pay attention to buildings. Obviously, very important to arm yourself really quickly. In fact, that should probably be your first order of business. Find Build a gun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But buildings can be a clue to what type of gear is inside. For instance, you're more likely to find a sniper rifle in a tower, or if you're in a clinic, probably gonna have health packs. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a building to take cover. Oh, and just so you know, every zombie drops an item too. Interesting, number two use cover, mm -hmm. and speaking of cover, keep in mind that this isn't Fortnite where you can go about building your shelter. Nope. In Blackout, if you don't wanna get your head blown off, mm -hmm. you need to stick to buildings. Expect a lot of sniping, and while we're on that subject, always use scope weapons to check out your surroundings. We're just full of good advice. Mm -hmm. Use cover, find a weapon. <laughs> Shoot the enemy. All right, number three, go to the light. That blue beam of light has some great loot at the bottom. It'll give you a weapon that's usually pretty good and level three armor, but it has a bunch of zombies around it, so, could be a challenge to get to, but the reward is worth it. Number four, you should have gone for the head. Did you like that? I wrote that that's an Infinity War reference. Oh, yeah. makes sense. I don't understand that reference, but oh, now okay. I do. Headshots are the easiest way to take someone out in blackout mode, especially because there aren't helmets. So always, always go for the head. That's where you'll get the most bang for your buck, no pun intended. Of course, body shots are going to do damage, but not as much. Unless they've got level three armor, a headshot will take out your opponent. Number five, all heal kits are not created equal. So when it comes to healing up, the trauma kit will be your best friend. That's because you'll go back to full health, but you get a little more. They give you 50 extra health. That'll take you up to 200. So even if you're full up on health in some situations, might not be a bad idea to use one. Number six, get to know your items. Mm -hmm. There are a ton of items in Blackout that you need to be familiar with. The RCXD card is back, and it's really helpful for scouting out enemies remotely. There are also sensor darts that will show enemy locations for a few seconds. And meanwhile, the razor wire not only gets your opponent stuck, but also drains them of HP over time. Just like real razor wire. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> and the combat axe will kill an opponent in one shot, so that's pretty handy, handy if you can find it. Number seven, perks. They're good, use them. It's a good idea to use your perks quickly. They can give you passive bonuses, like increasing your melee damage, or you can move quietly or highlight nearby items. Perks, they last for a few minutes, so it's kind of better to use them right off rather than if you get in the heat of battle. You're not gonna have time to hold on. Let me pull up my menu, use my perk. Mm -hmm. Is I'm just gonna completely break. Is this Peekaboo's number? Is that number seven? That's the exploit. Oh, That's the exploit okay. I didn't realize. About. I was like, yeah. Am I just telling you Peekaboo? I'm really confused. <laughs> okay. Oh, and one more thing to be aware of. What's that? This is uh, an exploit. To God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and one more thing to be aware of. What's that, Ben? Peekaboo. Oh. This is an exploit that will probably be fixed soon, but it's something you should definitely know about. If you use an emote, the game's perspective will shift to third person mode, which oh. gives you a wider view at enemies, especially oh, those behind cover. Shit. Right. The sitting bull emote is particularly bad about this, so be wary. Or use it. Yeah. Use it while you can. All we'll right. see if they actually like crack down on people using this. I don't know how they would. But. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll just fix the perspective. I don't know. The, anyway, that is all the tips we've got for you guys when it comes to blackout. What tips do you have to share with your fellow nobodies that aren't painfully obvious like most of ours? Add them in the comments. And for all your Black Ops 4 and blackout news, be sure to like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the No. Tip eight, yeah, shoot your opponent. <laughs> Tip nine, try not to get shot by the other opponent. Tip 10, run. Mouse and keyboard are better than control. Yeah, Jeez. right. <laughs> yeah.